What is up, guys? Welcome to the live stream. We're in San Antonio, Texas at PAX South. We're on our way to the PAX, guys. Now we're going to go and do everything. How long did it take you to put all this together? Uh, quite a couple months. Really? Yes. Is that your natural hair color? Did you dye it no, like that? No, it's a wig. Oh, it's a wig? Yeah, it's a wig. That looks a really good wig. Yeah. That's a really good wig. <laughs> awesome. George! What's up? George! George from Origin BC! What's up, man? What up, guys? What are you guys up to? Time Dude, travel. they hooked me up with the laptop that I'm streaming from right now. They sent it to me FedEx. Thank you. Thank you for the laptop once again, George. So where, what are you guys headed? Where are you guys up to? Uh, we're at uh, Intel where we have a demo of Eve Valkyrie on Oculus on the really awesome Origin PC Millennium. Yeah, guys, we're not biased at all. It's awesome because it's awesome. And then we're also powering all of Greybox. So Greybox has a lot of our Origin PC Kronos machines. They're doing uh, Grey Goop and they have Dreadnought, which is an awesome space combat five on yeah, five. That, that's a game that I that I wanted to try. I was uh, hoping uh, hopefully get a chance later. Yeah. All right, here it is. This is uh, one of the coolest looking like space combat simulation games that I saw here. Uh, that's what that's one of the reasons why I want to try it out. I I really kind of like combat combat simulation games that involve space. Wow. Wait, is this on PC? Dude. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how are you? Good I to see you. I saw you yesterday. What's yeah. up? What's your name? Peter. Peter, Peter. Hey. Dude, tell me about this game, man. <laughs> it's a game about giant spaceships. Come on. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Okay, is it only on PC or is it going to be up for console? Uh, it's going to be only on PC first. So we basically have console in mind in terms of like controller layout because we also wanted to enable players to, to play on PC with controller. Um, but no, currently we're focusing on PC. All right, now, they, is this going to be like a... How many people can play at once? Or is it going to be kind of an MMO type? Or is it going to be uh, no, just a shooter? No, it's an uh, arena-based multiplayer right now. So currently it's five versus five. Um, we might actually scale that up depending on how it goes, but we wanted to get that balance first because it just felt right. With the five classes that we currently have, Five versus five felt like a good number, really. So, dude, it looks beautiful, Thank and you. the fact that it's on a PC, you know, you can pump up the graphics. Yeah. yeah what I'm noticing is that the, the, the ships, like you fight like naval combat, yeah. side by side, like this, and then they shoot out with they shoot at the because I, I see all the guns are on the side. Or uh, exactly, we wanted to keep it up close and personal and give it an, this kind of naval feel. That's actually really cool. Yeah. How can people find out more about the game? Uh, you go to playdreadnought.com and then you play can dreadnought play dreadnought.com exactly dude george number 1 dude you are number 1 9 kills yeah top of the damage meter <laughs> All right, George, can you tell us what's, what's here? We're just showing it off, you know, so we, we're powering Dreadnought's booth. They're using Kronos machines, but we wanted to display one of our Millenniums so that everybody can see, you know, what our chassis looks like in person. So we just have a Millennium with an inverted chassis right now, showing two 980s. We have 4790K processor in there, overclocked. Um, but it's just, you know, simple machines so everybody can see what, what we have available, right? What the chassis actually looks like. What are the graphics cards in here? Uh, those are dual uh, NVIDIA GTX 980s, so SLI, which is what we tend to sell the most of, right? We sell a lot of SLI systems, 980s, 4790K, which is what we consider the, the overall best setup for gaming right now, you know? A 980 gives you future proofing, uh, play all the good games right now, and a lot of what's going to be coming up, right? Uh, can do 4K gaming decently. What? Can do 4K gaming decent on two 980s. And 4790K is more than enough processing power. Bajira! Dude, how's it going, guys? Say hello for the video channel. What's up? 
for the new. We're thinking about. It. I, I kind of want to play this one. I think Origins working with both games. Yeah. So, oh, what is that? That looks something like Star it's, Starcraft. Yeah, it's, a, it's an RTS. Yes, it was like the number one Steam game yesterday. So, really? Yeah. It looks just like Starcraft. So, this is amazing. How long did it take for you to do it? Seven days. Seven days? Yes. You did all of this in seven days? Yes, certainly Sunday. <laughs> that is incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. That took her only a week to make? That's insane. This is just one big uh, magic section. There's like an arena type game over there. And then there's like a tabletop headquarters too. You can play the games on the shield and it's being rebroadcast to the monitor. I recently got a shield and I am blown away by it. I have my shield. I brought it here to the hotel and I was in my room playing with the with the with the internet signal. I was playing on the grid. I am HK Smash. I'm a live streamer. You guys probably remember me from Las Vegas. Uh, I mainly play fighting games and I had a chance to actually use the shield on the grid. We play we played Street Fighter Cross Tekken from the grid and it was like really really smooth. It was fantastic. A few seconds had to get used to it, and it's awesome. What is up, guys? I'm at PAX South, and I'm here at Shiny Box here with Todd. And I, I saw that they had an NVIDIA Shield. I own an NVIDIA Shield. And what I usually do is I play on the grid and I play from games on my computer. I've never actually downloaded any games on the in, in Video Shield itself to play them. This is the first time I'm going to play a game. Just download it. It doesn't matter. So you tell me, tell me a little bit about the game. Sure, Dungeon Quest is an action RPG. Uh, we're for our own mobile platforms. The reason the Shield is great, it's all contained into one device. So you've got a screen, great looking high resolution screen, you've got awesome controls, and it's so fast and powerful that our game runs like butter. It's an action RPG, you have three different classes. Basically, you kill enemies, you collect loot, equip that loot, kill better enemies, get better loot. Very nice cycle, the video shield makes it victory to do it everywhere. It's like a. You know, I play World of Warcraft. It's like the mage yeah. class in World of Warcraft. It is. It's got the cool. blink. Check it out. It's got the blink. Now, I noticed in the game, like, whenever you use your duties, you lose your health. But, uh, right now, you've got, you've got to set up where you're a blood mage. So your health and mana is one giant pool. It gives you more of an effective mana pool to use, but you got to be careful with it as you can skill. All right, wait, I'm going to put this on the big screen. Cool. I'm going to show you guys one of the options that it has. It's a mirror mode on the mirror mode, yeah. video screen. So I'm going to tap it. Choose mirror mode. Boop. On the big screen. Woohoo! Awesome. Check it out. Now you can see the game. Yeah. All right. So um, you can make different classes, right? Yeah. Th this is a blood mage. Yeah. This is a blood mage. So essentially, you have three different character types to choose from: a warrior, a mage, and a rogue. Uh, our mage, uh, we have very different builds for. Right now, you're playing a blood mage. We have various skills you can use. Again, the Nvidia Shield makes it great. The controls are right there. Everything you can see on the screen. Um, and it looks gorgeous. Do I really like? All right. So where can people? Uh, the game time. You can get it on Google Play, which comes preloaded on the NVIDIA Shield. Um, you can play it. Again, it's offline, so it doesn't require an internet connection at all. And the NVIDIA Shield's great for traveling. Dude, that's awesome. I want to, I definitely, why I'm dying? I need to download some, some games on the Shield. Dude, for sure. Thank you so much, oh, man. You got it, man. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate it. Dude! Thanks. Social media.